I appreciate when it. I get them. Because you know, Dayburger, I love you, okay? What we're not going to do is act like you ain't been popping. First of all, Dayburger is so lit that she's been teaching children through music. Y'all better act like y'all know. Do y'all Googles. She works with That's a effect. school in partnership in, in, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the seeking of helping children through music because she knows how she, she knows what she's doing. And album just dropped. Babs just dropped. She'll be back though. We got Dayburger in the building. I was Woo-hoo. just catching up on Insecure. I think it was the episode yeah, before we were last, on the last episode. You had um, Wu Chow was on there. Because yeah. I just watched a couple of episodes yesterday. I had to catch up before mm-hmm. I could watch the last episode. And I was like, I, that sounds like Day. Day? Okay? I'll it's not a fucking day. You week. It's a whole week. It's a year. I'll pop up. I'll be popping You is up. the year burger. And you deserve. And everyone who's looking for placements as well, make sure y'all are locked in with Lady Luck. She can help you get your placements. And for all of our battle rappers, y'all better recognize and respect Queen of the Ring, okay, out here, Pioneers. And I am Miss Listen No, living purposefully, killing these comedy stages. Where are you funny bitches at? I don't know. No, but you, I do know. You've been having a show. You've been having a comedy show every every day. Like every time I'm on your Ew, pitch, that's what I'm Look and look, look, I got Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg is right here. Steven, Mr. Spielberg. He been talking I to me I for like, like the last hour. God, he looked like Steven Spielberg. That's I Steven God. Spielberg, okay? Look, just like him. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Who do I need to meet? Uh, <laughs> Stay C E. Where is Babs Bunny? We are uh, watching bacon. Bacon bones. Bacon bones? Yes. It's no. a bacon cheeseburger. That's a that's a major freaking that's a that's a one that's, that's a two thousand dollar night DJ. Baby, that's oh, fire. Yeah. So welcome to Bacon Egg and Cheese. We are waiting for Babs Bunny to return. But in the meantime, Day Burger, let everyone know about your new project, your yes. album. Yes, all the links are in my bio. You can check out all the new stuff hey, on my I page. Got, Shorty got videos, shorty got new music. I'm just out here having fun, being awesome, spreading confidence, love, and joy. So, you know the vibes. What is the name of the project? It's called Back in Your Mouth. So, I had a project (laughs) that was called In Your Mouth. Wow, she's wild. So, this is like 2.0 just to keep my name in your mouth and my songs coming out your mouth. Back in your mouth. So, I love it. You are a queen from Queens. It's your third album, right? This is my third album. It's the Trinity. The Trinity. I mean, I have EPs and mixtapes out, but this is the third official album, and I'm just blessed and happy to be able to do what I love. Is that what an LP is? I want to. I want to learn more about the technology. 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 (laughs) Technology. (laughs) <laughs> no, the technical terms. No, seriously, I do want to learn about just like the technical terms and just like you know. So, is is it an LP, an album, and an EP is like your 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 mixtape, but with like original what, beats. What is the difference? Hey, between- on you, like- EP is kind of like a listening package, an electronic package. So it's not an album. It's a little more direct. It's like giving you a taste or hey, a, a small dose, not restaurant. like an album. Never mind. Never mind. Hold so an an EP is like an le- electronic like uh preview, and then the LP is yeah. like the album. No LP is still like a listening package. It's, yeah, it could be a little more than that. All the years I've been in the industry, and I never knew it. So LP, EP, shout out, a little Burton. more than an EP. An EP could be three songs. A listening package might be five or six. Album, okay. Talk your shit because we were here on Bacon, Egg, and Cheese. Everyone, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and following our Instagram page. Also, show love to Day Burger. Third album. It's the Holy Trinity. You already know. Still in your mouth. We learn new stuff every day. That's still in your mouth, and I appreciate you for teaching because I'm I'm learning each and every day. So, um, still Steven Spielberg would like to drop some rhymes on you. Do you guys want it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Get ready. And up next is my man Steven Spielberg on the ones and twos. He a little tipsy, but you know what it is, B. Yeah, here Get you it. Go, here, here you go. Here, here, here's something you want socially I've never distance. heard before. Marilyn's mouth assumes the expression of the moment, changing quickly as not to be read. For persecution and neglect is said from the corners of her eyes, filling with a tear, only to be evaporated by laughter a moment later. No emotion has permission 
none can stay. Too much thinking may cause her to be sane. Sane? What's that? The elusive word denying the insanity within us all. And how dare they try to take the only thing I've ever known from me, she cries. Tell me a piece. We keep the rest. It is too much. All right, all right, all right. We're going we to give you a little oh. leg and take it right back. Oh, we get it. we got to leave something to the imagination. So we're going to go to our judges. We want you to be as open and honest as possible. We're going to go to Lady Luck first. Let us know. Steven Spielberg, what did you feel about his monologue? Fire. Fire? Fire emoji? It's a it might have went over some of y'all heads, actually. All right, so we're going to Day Burger. So you agree? Talk to us about Steven Spielberg's uh, monologue. Yeah. He was talking. That was the little spoken word. But he the I last poet. He the last, last poet. The last white yes, poet. So. He the last white poet. No, don't say white because it don't matter about color. You know what he said? He's you know what he poet. said? Fix your face. Where is that? <laughs> He's a human being. Somebody say he plagiarized it. <laughs> No, don't do that. Nah, how the fuck? No, that's yeah. what I think. First of all, this is Steven Spielberg. Do your Googles and respect the legends. Jumping on bacon, egg, and cheese after dark. Where's Bab? I'm hitting her. I think her phone is dead, man. Okay. In the meantime, in between time, everyone, make sure you are locked and loaded on Day Burger's new album. It's the Holy Trinity, Still in Your Mouth, Volume 1. That's what it's called, right? Oh, back in your mouth. No, oh, back in your mouth. Back in your mouth. Sorry. Back in your mouth. Still in your mouth. Like, still, yeah. But it's back. Cause I'm no, no, back, back in, in your mouth. mouth. Well, I'm sorry. I, I just knew it was something about still proceeding to lay what it is on their tongues. They in still your gargle mouth. in your mouth. They still got your name on their lips. <laughs> they still need. They, she's so sick with it. It's Day Burger. I thought you already knew. And we got. Nom, 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 nom. nom. Lady Luck in the building. Miss Lisa knows on a 1.75 of a drink. This is not even, this is my second drink. I'm still not done yet. <laughs> Everybody toes. That's my first Buell in the building. Make sure you are um, subscribed and following the Bacon, Egg, and Cheese show on YouTube and Instagram. Don't forget to lock in with Day Burger, her new album. Lady Luck is Much streaming on all streaming platforms as well as Babs Bunny. Y'all better act like y'all know. Fix your faces. Go stream all of these songs, okay? We tired Period. of the bullshit. What are you listening to right now? Because Dave Burger is back in your mouth. Lady Luck's still in your mouth. Bad Bunny, first lady of the streets. We don't know where she is right now, but what we're going to do is rep for her. So make sure y'all locked in and subscribe to Queen of the Ring. First lady of the streets. Steve, Steven Spielberg in the background. I am Miss Listen Nose. Love Steven it, love Spielberg. it, love it. I always love the energy here. What what y'all doing tonight? Who's the guest? What's going I on? Just, What's on the bacon egg and We got tonight? we got Moni Love. That's why I love you, okay? Yeah. Moni love, love is going to pop up at 8:30. Moni Love. We already got Steven Spielberg, okay? Legend. He's, he's this legend night. He's here. We got Day Burger the legend, okay? Legend Walking lady legend in the building. Pioneer. Y'all don't y'all don't understand of uh, First of all, your album is fire. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's, it's the perfect music to get ready to. She always mm -hmm. out here spreading the love. All Day Burger want to do is spread the love. That's and why her that hair ass, is rainbow. And make that ass shake too. That's about spreading the love. You got to spread the cheeks to spread the love. Yeah, you got to spread the cheeks to spread the love. I want to see somebody <laughs> spread the cheeks. <laughs> 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 spread love. Yo, yo, Mr. Day Burger was walking down to LA and they got. Yeah, we had some fun out here. Yo, 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 yo
Yo, Safari was on Day Burger's body one time when we mm. was at the, the Love and Hip Hop reunion. You act forgot. like you don't remember. Forgot. He was on your body. He, he was like, baby, baby. Like, <laughs> like, I want Jungle, not Safari. Calm down. You wanted him to follow through, Day? I mean, listen, you know, that I used to be obsessed with Safari. Everyone knows that, but I let it go. I, I, I didn't I, know that. I, I didn't know that. I had a lot of crushes that I hold on to for a long time, and then I let them go after a while. I'm telling one you. Of them. So, so they break it. It's like, so it's like a, a man and woman crush, or it's like a no, man again, crush? No, I just loved him. I thought he was funny. I know. Like, it's like, oh, I, I, like, like, I want to, like, break up with him, like, battle him and stuff, you know? <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, no, no, his his dance moves are definitely crazy. So shout out to Safari. Yeah, like I want to like go under his arm and like do like a. <laughs> Safari came out the womb doing the bruck up. I definitely <laughs> understand why you are so connected. I'm not trying to be funny. I don't know where Babs Bunny is right now, but I just want everyone to know that this is the bacon, egg, and cheese experience. But it's bacon, egg, and cheese with a burger. On the, on the side, side, baby, we got Day Burger in the building. Egg and cheese. That's what it sounds like. Got, come on, titties. It's the white meat, dark meat for me. The titties, is, it's the breast meat for me. I had to blonde them real quick. So, yes, everyone, make sure. This is Bacon, Egg, and Cheese After Dark. We are expecting Moni Love at the half point of the hour. But right now, we are shutting it down with Day Burger, get familiar. This woman's new album just dropped. I will be tuned in dropped. too for Moni Love, cause you know I want to hear them gems she's dropping and see what's going on. Cause y'all always got the hottest people, the hottest topics. So I like to stay locked in, you know. But are there any questions that you feel like we need to make sure we ask her? This beat. How does she overcome this industry that we're all trying to overcome? How does she navigate it so well and so fluidly for so long? So. I'm anxious to hear how she does that so we could all learn and gain some tools to move forward, you know? You're... You know, shout out to the universe. <laughs> Your phone is going out again, look. Shout out to the universe. You don't know that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we hear you, we hear you. So I'm shout out to the universe. Shout out to the universe, because if you don't have the answers, the universe will always give you the universe. You know what I'm saying? And the universe will always tell you anything that you need to know. So um, shout out to the universe. Shout out to everything. You guys got to stay meditated up. It's a new year coming in. So I just want to shout everybody out who's focused and got their chakras in line, and they are focused on their future. There's a lot of people who put up a lot of things online while we wait for money love. Miss Lisa, should we bring another guest up? We got a we got a ton of people. Bring somebody in. in, you know I love. Yes, it. first of all, if you're coming in the queue, you better be a part of the Burger Crew, okay? Are you here supporting Day Burger's new album release? Because I took my daughter to the movies to go see the movie with uh Taraji P Henson. I think it was like What Women Want to Baby, and then Day Burger song popped on, and I told my daughter because Day Burger loves the kids. And Day Burger put together a day for the children to come and put a song together. And until this day, my daughter still remembers that song. So just do to it give again. you your and flowers. I need y'all again. I need all of y'all. I'm still almost, again. I'm almost at two drinks. I don't drink a lot. I'm almost at two. Easy. Oh my gosh, Steven Spielberg is going crazy. Steven Spielberg is going crazy. I repeat, Steven He's still talking. Y'all hear him? No, I'm just saying this ain't no fucking game out here. Mother first come out here with fucking chain chain out. They fucking like a mother first like, come over here. I feel attacked. He said chains. He talking about chain chains. He's talking real gangster today. He's talking real gangster today. Steven Spielberg is on his Jurassic Park shit. Okay? <laughs> He's adorable. I'll put it up a warning. Fix your speaker, love. It's not... I'm the I host. keep muting mine so that she could talk. Exactly. So it's not mine. I'm the host. So when y'all have feedback, it, it mutes my microphone. My, you know what I'm saying? My room is the quietest. Oh. See? So I'm, I'm no, saying. No, mine the quietest. I, I ain't going to fight with you. Let's bring this young lady. My in. shit has white privilege, so it's definitely the loudest. But that's not me. So that's why I keep muting because, baby.
I don't know if he was just rapping. I don't know what's going on, but he had a young lady as his. As, as it was his, a family affair with the smoke. Yo, yo, it was a young lady as his profile. He showed up smoking a cigarette, laying down with his chest out. I ain't never seen nothing it's like that toddler. before. All right, shout out to everybody watching the show right quick. I don't know what, I don't know if Bab, yo, you know what? This is fun. This is fun. Let, let, let's bring one more. Is Bab back? back? What'd you say? They said he finna flash us. Oh, no, no, no. I've had, I've had some, I've had some things Yo, happen. Steven Spielberg is still there. I'm muting again. I'm muting again. Yo, yo, I'm, I'm telling you. Yo, I, when I be going live, I be going live and I got, I got a. Oh, Where is fine. Bab? Is, is everything okay with the bacon? I repeat. to press accept. I be scared to press accept sometimes. If it's not like I go live I with all, to. I go live with all my Middle Eastern folks, and then my my live be lit. I'm telling you. So I go live with all my Middle Eastern folks. Shout out to Mona. Love. Okay, can we talk a little bit to Dayburger about her project? Because even though Travel. what's with these shirtless guys on Rose? Baby, what's can you talk to us about your new project? We don't have time for any of that. What was the inspiration behind this, the project? This is way more entertaining. No, let me stop. Um. Pretty much the project is dope. I linked up with Mighty Mark from Baltimore. So it is a New York Baltimore club fusion mixed with some sprinkles and booty bouncing. <laughs> okay. So um, if y'all you... in the mood, y'all getting ready for the club, you throw it on, you going to the gym, you throw it on, you getting ready for work in the morning, you throw it on. Like this is, you know, I make music to like your life. It's a life soundtrack. <laughs> What, what what is your favorite song on the album? Um, I got a few, but I got one called "Fucking It Up" that I'm about to. When we hang up, maybe I'll go make the TikTok right now. Um, it's called "Fucking It Up," and it go it go hard, it go ham. It's for the gym, it's for the car, it's for the club, it's for the crib. It's like it's one Let's of those. Let's play that right now. Let's play it right now. Fucking it up. 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 <laughs> Good reception. It's a dope song. I'm officially at. I finished two drinks. Toast to that. Yeah. Wait, 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 thanks, wait, wait, hold on. Thanks for showing love, Lucky. You know I love y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, you, know, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know I always show you super love, super love. So um, I guess we are waiting for Money Love. The queue is crazy. Yeah. 
Miss Lisa, can I bring some of my Middle Eastern friends up? <laughs> one more, one more for the road, and then I'm gonna do. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm not letting nobody else in. My, I'm not bringing nobody else in. That, yo. <laughs> this is your crowd. I'm about to leave here. <laughs> my crowd. Nah, I didn't. Yo, it, yo, listen. The queue got 44 people in there trying to go live. I didn't. Yo, I didn't know we was going to. Yo, go this guy is still here. This big egg and cheese after dark. It's big yeah. and she's after dark. Yeah, and we got it's Steven Spielberg in the, <laughs> on the ones and twos. Let us know about when you direct the film, how it really feels. Steven Spielberg. Somebody said my poor eyes. Shout out to Saint in the room. That's one of my producers. It's an open mic. I can sit up. Yo, if you if you now tuned in, you are now tuned to bake it. Bacon is burger, egg, and cheese tonight. We're waiting for the bacon to pull back up. This is sausage, egg, and cheese show now. Shout out there, burger. Shout out there, burger. Miss Listen, do we do we have any topics to run through, or or, or we just out here? We wait for money love to pull up. <laughs> In case they flag it because of that. Nah, everybody's good. I have I my mic off because I'm trying to give y'all the time to talk. So welcome to Bacon, Egg, and Cheese. Y'all already know, normally we chop up the hottest topics, dish to dirt, but right now we're delivering it to you after dark. So this is late night snacks, the late Bacon, night. Egg, and Cheese edition. We got Day Burger. She just dropped a new album. Lady Luck, first lady of the street, Bass Bunny. She popped off, but she's going to pop back on. And if you're looking for those placements, if you are making music but nobody wants to listen to it, there is somebody. Reach out to Lady Luck. She can help put your music on submission. Shows. The people whose music you never hear be on TV shows. <laughs> because the it's a fucking hat. monopoly out here in these streets. So Lady Luck, Day Burger, they are helping people to get their music beyond the radio because the radio is niggas paying payola. Everybody oh, okay. has payola. <laughs> So make okay. sure y'all are locked in with the greatest entertainment, Day Burger, Get Your Life. If you're a battle rapper, you better be locked in to the first lady of the streets, queen of the ring, holding it down, first battle rap league for females. Nobody wanted to fuck with y'all bitches. I know people want to fuck with y'all bitches now, but nobody wanted to side. fuck with these battle rap bitches except for Babs Bunny, uh, Vague, and Debo. Nobody wanted to fuck with y'all before. So make sure y'all show love and make sure that y'all don't get Chill crazy. out. Chill out. I got in trouble for sticking up. I got in trouble for saying the same thing you said right now. The same fucking thing you said right now. Is that a good? Huh? Yo. All right, ladies and what gentlemen. What you said, Muni, 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 muni. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank y'all for tuning in late night. We wait for money love to the bacon, no, to the burger, egg and cheese show. We will see y'all again Wednesday. Out of sausage. Yeah, yeah. We will see y'all Wednesday. We will see y'all. Oh, there go money love right there. Hey, yo, let's go. Everybody, mute their mic up. Every time I Listen, we got me. For Babs to tap in. I'm here. Is Babs here? I, I don't know what Babs is. Let's put on here. Okay, well, we can have Day Burger sit tonight. in until Babs comes, and then when Babs comes, Day, you already know we love you, but we'll, yeah. we'll then transition. Shout out, shout out Moni Love. Hi! Moni Love! Yeah. We got Moni Love, Moni Love in the building, hold baby. Hold up, hold up. Let me get Moni on <laughs> You see, I put no. my ring. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta do, I gotta give my sisters love in each box. This is wild. I've never been on one of these before. Wait, wait, wait. That's for you. Listen, you that's for okay, you. I'm sorry. And, and that's for you, Luck. I gave everybody, all my sisters love, right? Okay. <laughs> yo, yo, shout out Miss Jones in the queue. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, if there's anybody who influenced me to want to rap, if you like Lady Luck because she rap, if you in here because Lady Luck rap, I want to tell you that Moni Love, Ladies First, is the first record that made me so, yo, I can do this. Moni Love, first of all, has not aged since that video. I don't know what kind of so vampire adorable. diet she's on. I don't know what she's doing, but she is more than a big sister in the game. <laughs>
I mean, Moni the influence. She's a big sister in the game. Like, Moni called me a couple weeks ago out of nowhere. Like, look, are you good? I'm like, yeah. How's your love. mental health, Luck? I said, hello? <laughs> you know what I mean? So Moni Love is just is just like one of the biggest influences in my career. And I just want to give her flowers. Just want to let her know I love you. Babs Bunny, she's having technical difficulties. I'm pretty sure she feels oh, the way. We was all together at the at the female awards, the VH1 awards. So we just want to let I got, you know. I kept all my pictures. I got all my pictures. And, and and of course, yep. this is Day Burger. Day Burger just dropped her album on Monday. Hi, Moni. Like, How you doing? This is Miss Lissa. Big ben, long the, the time icon. Legend. Much respect. And I'm pretty, I love her I'm hair. Sure there's plenty of questions Miss Lisa want to run away or she want to start. Okay, okay, go. okay. I'm on mute. Okay, I'm unmuting and I do apologize, but I am in the midst of living my purpose and I've been doing stand-up comedy, so I'm right outside of a, a club and I just killed the set. And it was right after this guy that bombed, but that's a whole nother story because when somebody bombed, you feel like you bombed. Like you feel like you're a part of Al-Qaeda. It's like, are we all bombing? Did we all bomb? So it's like, baby, and I and I push through for the black women because what you're not gonna do, God, is box me in. So we fought that shit out. So I wanna say, first of all, thank you. Let me take off my glasses. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'm so sorry that Baz Bunny is not here, but yes, Dave Burger, we love you. But Moni Love, you are one of the pioneers. It, it's still hard out here for a woman in this industry, still. Still, like hard as still, like not still, like S T I L L. I mean, still, it's hard as still. <laughs> it's so hard. It's still yeah, it's so hard. Still, and you are yeah. one of the people that was kicking down the doors in the beginning, just like Lady Luck, just like Babs Bunny. And even now, my mm -hmm. sister that just left Day Burger, and when she comes back up, we want to pull them back in. But you are out here still killing the game. And like Lady Luck said, you look like you just drinking from the fountain of youth, not youth. With a TH youth with an F. <laughs> we hood. We hood. But I just want to say, first of all, we're going to give you your flowers because you are very deserving of them. But let's tap in a little bit about your journey. Like, because when I listen to you talk, you have an accent. Now, is it wrong for me to try to do your accent? Because everything's, everyone's so like sensitive now. And, okay. Is it okay? No, I mean, I'm not sensitive like that, but okay, it's, inter just, it's, interesting. It. it's interesting that you bring up the accent, because you know what, Luck? I gave up on explaining that shit to people, because I'm tired. I'm really tired. Um, because honestly, ever since I've been on that, that show, um, Marriage Boot Camp, and people that maybe don't know me like you do, Luck, um, and they hear my accent on the show, or what have you, and then they're like, she needs to pick one or, you know, yeah, man, people say stuff like that. People are like, uh, and it's, it's hilarious to read it because it allows me to understand just how sheltered some people are and how unwilling to be open-minded about the fact that there's a big wide world out there. How some people just are un unwilling to accept that. There's a big wide world out there and there are black people all over the world. And I think it's adorable. You so we, you know, we speak differently good. in different places that we live. And then you take somebody that's from another place and you drop them in the middle of Brooklyn in 1988, you know, and then they're here uh, from 1988 until now. It's quite possible that so me, their, their accent has become blended. I, I know that I've asked this question, but for the people who are tuning in, we have international plays tuning in. Some don't know me, some don't know you. We just have people randomly coming in here. Can you explain your journey? Like, what, how did you land over here? How did you land with Latifah and them? Can you tell us the story? Okay, the, like, try to do the quick version. Basically, what was going on in the United States when hip-hop was, was, was being born and being developed and 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 it's a very long time ago that hip-hop actually started its journey in the united states so imagine we didn't get it in england until a good 10 years later maybe more than 10 like we had to play catch up so we got hip-hop in england in the form of um b-boys and breaking and and stuff like that so that's what we were all doing originally yes me i was a part of that too nobody was rhyming Nobody was, no, nobody was doing any of that. We were breaking and, you know, some of us were poppers, some of us were lockers. 
So Bonnie Love is telling me that you can break dance? Like that is that, that Yeah, but nowadays I could nowadays I could probably break my hip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, origi originally, you know, back in the days, that's what we were doing. So, um, and then we developed into, some of us became DJs, some of us became MCs, some of us became graph writers. We kind of just transcended into the other forms of hip hop, um, the, other, the other elements of hip hop, I should say. And then from doing that, as kids, we would put on our own little jams in the neighborhood, you know, like over here in this country, you know, there'd be block parties and stuff like that. We put on our own little events in community centers in and around London, you know, wherever I was from South London. So we would put like events on in our local community center in South London and, and stuff like that. And then, you know, hip hop was getting more and more influencing mainstream music. And so record labels started sending out scouts to find kids that were doing, you know, rhyming and stuff at different corners of London. And that's how I got found by a record label scout at 16 and I got signed to a record deal. So you you were over in London. Yeah, yeah. I was signed uh, as a as a youth. <laughs> I was signed at sixteen. Yes, a youth. I was signed at sixteen years old to a record label. Mm -hmm. Wow. With 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 the, with the gang. How did how did all that happen? How did what happen? How did you land on like in New York rap? Because I know you got you said. Oh no, because um okay so um. Uh, a guy named, this is a guy that was like an ambassador of hip hop and he used to bring over hip hop acts to England all the time and have them do like mini tours in different clubs and stuff around the city of London. And his name was Dave Klein and um, his name within the industry was Dave Funk and Klein. <laughs> and um, he worked with uh, Rush Management. He worked with Def Jam a lot and he brought a lot of the groups over to England and to Europe. And uh, one trip he came over and we would all be at the shows because we had our own hip hop scene and whatever artists from the US came over, we would definitely be at those shows. So I went to a show that Dave Funk and Klein brought the groups over. It was True Mathematics, Cheryl Rob G, Jungle Brothers and Queen Latifah. And so I went to that show, it was at a place called Ding Walls, and um, it was a very small place, but it was notoriously hip hop hole in the wall, but beats was always banging. And um, I saw that show and I met Latifah in there. And then uh, I spoke to Dave Funk and Klein and he was like, you know, we'd like to have you come to some more of the shows. Matter of fact, you can help our bus driver on how to get there because he's clueless on how to drive on these London streets because we drove over on a ferry with a bus from Germany and he doesn't speak English. So if you could hop on the bus with us, and help him make sense out of these maps to get us to the other shows that we have to do while we're here in England, I'd greatly appreciate you. So yeah, 16 years old, I became like mini tour manager uh, for Queen Lati for Jungle Brothers, True Mathematics and Show Rob G. So, so how did, how did the uh, ladies first record come along? Like how During that trip, Latifah and I got close. We got real cool. And she, she, uh, one night she was like, let me hear you rhyme. I've been hearing people saying you can rhyme, whatever. So I did. And she was blown away. And she was like, we need to do a record together. And she loosely began speaking about the concept of ladies first. And I say loosely because she knew she wanted to do something that was female um, empowerment driven, but she wasn't quite sure where she wanted to go with it at that point. Right. But she did say, I want to do a song together. I want us to do a song together. I want us to do an important song together. So, so like, who was the first moment? Like, what did it feel like, like, when the first record hit internationally? Like, what, how did it feel when you knew, like, what's up? Shout out, shout, shout out to legendary Miss Jones. <laughs> hey! I feel so blessed to be in the room with such great women and power legends. So, so, so tell me how, how it felt like the first moment when you knew, like, wow, this is it. Like, I'm on, like. You know, because I, I know what it is to rap and you be local and everybody knows dope, but like when the world knows your name, like your first tour, your first everything, how did that feel? Um, fun and scary. Fun and scary all at the same time, I think. And and just, just a newness about everything. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you're like 16, well, 17, 18 years old. You're thrusted on the road you with a whole bunch of people that you, some people you know, some people you haven't met before and you're seeing them for the first time. You're all doing shows together and you're a fan. The biggest thing of anything is that you're a fan. You're a fan of watching everybody else's performances. 
So, and then kind of a little bit of, there's a little ego in there also because you're watching everybody else's performances, but on the same token, you're like, I need to make sure that, that my shit is dope. Like, like their, their set was tight. Like I need to make sure that my shit is dope too. So there's all of that running through you. Do, do, uh, this, this, this question for you and Ms. Jones, do you have a, I know I'm famous, like, wow, I'm famous moment. Like there's been people I've met and I've been shocked that they know who I am. Like, oh my God, you know who I am. Like, do you have one of those moments? Like, like, oh my God, you know who I am? You go first, Jonesy. Hi, Moni. <laughs> you see me wait to you? I did. Hi, ladies. Hey, luck. So go um, first. You know, it's crazy. I have those moments when, when, um, when there's articles about me, and I'm like, Dag, they care that much? <laughs> That's one way. Yeah. Here's my way. I was in an elevator from um, uh, an interview. One time I was in an interview, not an interview, it was an audition for a movie part, which I didn't get. Matter of fact, it was for Sister Act. It was a, it was a part in Sister Act. I don't know if it was uh, the lead or anything, but I, I know I had to go audition for a, a role in Sister Act. So I went, I auditioned. And then when I was leaving, I got in the elevator and it was like a high floor and there was a bunch of people in the elevator and um, people kept getting out on some of the other floors. And then it wound up only being me and one person in the elevator. And it was, um, I was closest to the door and the person, the last person that was left, I could see in my peripheral vision was a guy. And so I'm in the elevator and then I hear him saying, Moni in the middle, where she at in the middle. So then I turned around. Iconic, iconic. Let me explain something to you. It was, no, it was no that's not it i turned around and the one person that was left in the elevator was denzel washington so i was like and he was like moni in the middle where she at i know who you are i was like oh my god you said and i know who you are yeah crazy. i was like crazy that's a good story moni that's yeah. a great story both, both of that was that was the moment for me. Both of you guys have such great stories, and and both of you guys do radio as well, right? Like, like and both of us were training together. We, we started do, we, we started the same like literally the same time. Wow. Um, yep. and 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 no, um, this is not shade, but we didn't have a lot of training from because it was not a station yet. They were just building the station really, and mm -hmm. um. And so we would, I would go to Moni's training late at night and just try and help her sh like share my notes that they had given me. And then she would pop up on my um, um, training late at night. And we'd be in, Roni, Moni, remember the night we ran out of songs to play? <laughs> oh my God. We ran out of songs to play because we forgot to play like three sets of commercials. Do you know what I remember even more than that though? Right. I remember, <clears throat> I remember us talk, having man talk and not realizing that the microphone was still on. <laughs> I remember that. You remember that? I remember that. I remember us having, because we, no, because wait, look, I need to explain this to you, right? Please, because the other uh, 300 of us, at, we don't know. So tell the other 300 of okay, us the story. On, at, when Hot 97 first flipped from a top 40 station to the flagship hip hop station that it is now, um, this is when a gentleman named Steve Smith that was putting all of the personalities in place who flipped the station in the first place, brought on Jonesy and brought on together to train, right? So we would be training in the unsociable hours of the morning. So maybe, you know, two o'clock in the morning until four o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning when the morning show comes in or whatever. He'd have us there in those unsociable hours just in case anything goes wrong, you know. Boy, if things go wrong. I have a question for you ladies, if that's okay. You know, being in the industry for so long, I, you know, even though I, I would say I'm a newcomer, I have been putting time in as well. How do you find the drive to always find new things to stay in the loop and stay, you know, with your ear to the street and in this day stay prevalent and relevant when it's like they want you to do certain things as females you know they put this stigma on us you have to be this way that way how do you stay true to yourself and continue to grow mm. in this industry mm. hello 
Me and jo me and Jonesy both got the same face right now. Need to know, you know, they make it so hard for females, and we look up to people who found ways to make it stick for us. So dro drop some gems on some newcomers trying to find that longevity. I think you have to gamble on yourself. Wow, that's that's a fact right there. And I think. For me, these past 10 years, while I was off the scene, primarily because I didn't, I, like, I will never do Ask Kiss Radio. Hello. I, so i rather just stay true to who I am because everything comes back around. Totally. What's old is new, baby. So wait, so, so wait right. both of you guys did New York Radio and both of you guys did radio mm -hmm. in Philadelphia as well, right? Mm-hmm. So the Same station. Same station, too, right, Joe? All, all yeah. the time. Twice. Twice. Right. Twice. Right, but 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 the one in Philly, the first time we weren't there at the same time. I had just left to go back home to New York. Right. Mm. <clears throat> but they needed that legitimacy. Where else mm -hmm. you gonna get it? But Moni. Right. Hello. One of and the then, two. It's not Jones. And then we were at, and then she went to power. She went to power while I was still in New York. She went across mm -hmm. the street to the other station. And then when I came back to Philly, I wound up there where she was at. Mm -hmm. And we used to have the man talk. We used to, we knew not to keep the mic button up at that point. And well, we were know, grown, they grown. Wanted to hear that tea. You know, that's early on. They like, ooh, what's this? A little gossip. Yeah, no. It, it was too much. It was. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no. I needed y'all own after dog. So, 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 yeah. So, so I want to take it back to the beginning of you guys' careers. So, like, when, what was the first show that you did where it was like overwhelming to you? Like, you went on stage, they they knew all your lyrics, or like, what what was like the biggest moment that that was like overwhelming for you? Is there any overwhelming moments in your career? Mm, probably Arsenio Hall show when I was pregnant with my first daughter. Okay. That's so dope. Yeah, that was big for me because to see the you know I don't know it was just this big huge Hollywood show that I was surprised when I even got on it everything everything was surprising and pleasing it was surprising it was beautiful Moni you know why I remember that because back then you had to hide if you were pregnant and then I won't let me not say men the people in charge back then frowned upon that sort of reality mm -hmm. right it was taboo to That's even right. acknowledge that you were having sex or you were a whore, you were this, you were that. She Being was human. the first. Like, how but, do you balance that and be but, in the industry at the same time type but vibe? Moni was the first, I will say, Black artist, female artist, obviously female, pregnancy, and hip-hop to embrace her pregnancy. Mm. I, just, I wasn't, oh, you know, well, maybe, maybe. You Beyonce, maybe. Moni. Maybe. When you did, M Moni, when you did I, did, I don't know if it was Soul Train, I don't know if it was Arsenio. I saw you on TV with that belly because you had a move you used to do and you used to go like this, Moni and the Moni and the Moni. I remember. Apollo. It was Showtime at the Apollo. It was Showtime at the Apollo. Okay, yep. bam. That's what it was. Yeah. But you was the first one to embrace it and not bandage, bandage it down. You know, you know, you know, Moni. I liken Moni in the middle to the same thing as as uh, your man. Did did I do that? Where Urkel, like you have an iconic st saying, like even now to this day. <laughs> you know what I mean? E e even after this day. Oh, you out there, Burger? I think okay, day Burger Boogie. But even, yeah, even she to went. this day, like you, you have an iconic saying, like and I'm sure <clears> still doing it now. You know what I mean? And, and even you, Jonesy. Like what I what I love about both of you guys is that you can still transcend in this generation. Like, even now, it is hard for a lot of people to stay relevant, you know? Like, like you know, if you have a lot of artists that you guys have seen from your generation, from my generation, they come and go. Nobody even talks about them anymore, but you guys always stay relevant. And, and welcome back, Miss Lissa! Al and Josie is in the building. Shout out to Day Burger. We love you, baby. That's why I'm talking you know about what I holding it down for the team. You know what I want to say, Luck? Hi, Miss Lissa. You know what I want to say about that? I think a lot of what makes us relevant or still relevant or any older artist relevant again is that back then, there was so much information and not a platform to share that y'all want to know how the, how the cake was made and we got all the stories. And some of us actually had real talent, so that's a bonus. We got the information, we got the real talent, we don't need sound effects and, and voice coder and all that other stuff. 
you just didn't get a chance to hear us a, a lot because it wasn't it was breaking through back then it was breaking through mm -hmm. women in hip-hop was breaking through r&b singers with rap we had to go with rappers first before we could actually get our little hip-hop r&b on oh, that's, it, true. It, that's true so yeah what, what, what got what i want to ask what was the first stadium you guys ever performed at because i know oh my god i'm trying i'm trying let me try 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 tell you i'm having a band moment right now i have two icons this this is an upcoming icon i'm trying me, to remember me, i'm money in the middle but i want to i want to know like i'm on the phone with two icons right now so i want to know like what is your first okay even if it's not stadium what was your first big show like you look out and there's a sea of people. Like, how does that feel? You know what I mean? Because a lot of people in the audience, they don't know. What I'm going to get like. that wrong. I'm I'm definitely going to get that wrong. I don't want to say which was the first one because I feel you know, like you I'm definitely going to get that Ladies and gentlemen, when you can't remember which one it was, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but I can tell you which one I, I felt the most butterflies flying through my stomach. Let us know. Right? Jonesy, you might be surprised about this. The, the, the one the, the show that I felt the most butterflies going through my my stomach and I was was the first time I ever did a show at Temple University in Philadelphia wow. and it was it was a public enemy headlined show wow. and Latifah's camp went on before PE of course and I was part of Latifah's camp at that time and coming from England where I've never seen schools that are just black. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying, Jonesy? That was massive. It, it, like, I've, I had not grown up seeing that. Like, when you go to specific schools that are just predominantly black, and I got on stage, and they flickered their lights for just a few minutes before they turned the lights down, but everybody had, like, some type of light up or something. And it was just a sea of black kids. And I was like, oh, <laughs> wow. That, and, it, and then when PE got on and and everybody was jumping up and down to the, it looked like a big black wave. And, and it was. I, that was the first time I had ever seen anything like that. And, the, and so many butterflies went through my stomach on that particular night at that show. That's outstanding. I think mine was with you, Moni. Remember, Where? right after Where I Want to Be Boy dropped, became really, really big. It dropped, and then they shipped me off to London, and you agreed to come with me. Oh, my God. And they were like, you have all these stadiums. Huh? I love this show. Like, I'm just sitting here right now. Just, I'm just taking it I, remember I remember this. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, let her finish. Go ahead, Jonesy. I remember this. Okay. I remember this. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. They, and, and, and back then, me and, run, me and Moni were running a little bit. And the label asked her to do a record. No, I think Dougie asked you behind my back. Because if you said no, he didn't want me to be hurt. He asked her to do a record you with me. You behind your back? I wouldn't have said no. I didn't know you. You. It was like, oh my God, Moni Love. Why would she do a record with me? And he said, I spoke I to Moni. I was a fan. I was a fan. Oh, thank you, sis. But we did the record. And then you agreed to go to London for my first overseas leg. Mm -hmm. And they got stadiums in London. Like these, like these were big... And we were on the, that was my first, like that was literally, it was my birthday in 1994, where I want to be boy overseas, me and Moni. And um, that that was, that. I'll never forget that. And I have still VCR tape of it. Um, uh, yeah, it was a lot at once early and it was grand. I remember, I remember, sh I remember going shopping while we were there. I remember that. I remember I took you to King's Road, which is a high fashion shopping street in London. Okay. I remember I didn't I remember it's quite famous. And I remember going into a particular boot store because they have the best boots, like high boots and boots that come up to your knee. Yeah. And I remember I remember purchasing uh you and I both purchasing boots in that boot store. One of those pairs of boots that I bought from that boot store, I wore to that Christmas party we went to. All right, enough. Easy. Thank you. Good night. Yo, you guys are making me want to cry because the history that is here, it is so rich. Like you, you both of you guys are legendary. You both support me. You both love me. And like you don't you don't understand. The the, the best part for me and my career is so many people who have influenced me, like Lady of Rage and and you guys, like you guys have my phone numbers now. So it's like I watched you guys and I hate the growing up term. So like I hate when somebody tells me growing up. So like just admiring you. 
from where I was at. Because I hate when somebody be like, Lady Luck, I grew up to you. I'd be like, shut up. I was your age. But, you know, just... just no, but I want you... No, 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 no. No, that's important to me. I need you to... I need you to say that. Oh, uh, man. I need I you to... I, 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 get, I get emotional. I get choked up when I say... No, I need, I need you to like, say that. And I need that to be... I, no, no, no. We need to be clear on who our influences are and the people that, 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 that helped put batteries in our backs when we're coming up. We need to be clear on that I, because it's, okay. it's important for the next little sisters. It's important for the next little sisters that's coming up. Like, I'm never ashamed to do that. And I'm never ashamed. I never shun anybody that comes to me and says, oh, I grew up to you. And I'm like, well, was it a, was it a good bring up? Did I bring you up well? Yeah, well you know what I'm saying? Did you well, eat your vegetables? That type shit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, imp it's important to know that we empower each other like that. Well, I have fan moments and I be trying to be cool because like everybody here who know Lady Luck, I'm a gangster, you know what I'm saying? I'll be doing what I'm doing. But like, we was just in LA, me and Babs, we were playing Spades and then Yo-Yo walked out and I'm like, oh my God, Yo-Yo, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, Lady Luck. I'm like, you know me? I'm sorry if I know you. So these are moments. Josie, you remember the first time we hurt Lady Luck? Do you remember? Do you need me to remind you? Don't make me Rem cry. Oh my God, don't make me cry. I've been drinking. <laughs> was it? I got one guess. Was it? Because my memory is early in the morning. Were we coming from somewhere and it was early in the morning? We was, we got to the station. You guys are gonna make me cry. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to interview you. you At 13, wait, all right, we have blood. You don't remember what she was on? A posse cup with all them dudes? No. No, 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 tell me about Moni, Moni. Not Give her the reminder, wait, wait, Moni wait, wait, in the middle. Moni. No, Moni, no Moni, we need the reminder. Wait, wait, let me do this, let me do this. I don't know, but Moni, not for nothing. Jonesy hurt me first, because Jonesy was on the radio. And I was rapping for Jonesy, you know what I mean? At first, I had called in the radio station. So you're talking about EPMD, but Jonesy heard me before I had a deal. So There you go. Like so my, Jonesy my, heard you first. Yeah. I didn't get wind of you until you was already on a verse on 54321. Oh, right. see, Jonesy, I was telling her, she still owe me a Dreamcast. This is what I keep telling her. I'm like, Jonesy, I don't care if it's 2021. I don't care if the motherfuckers don't even make it no more. You she remembers. I, I, I tell Jonesy this every time I see it. Jonesy, you owe me a Dreamcast. You, Ed Lover, you know what I mean? Because I had rapped on the radio, and that's what I won. And then they give it to me. I'm a I'm, I probably sold that shit. It was there. <laughs> Knowing me. Funny story, funny story, real quick, Moni, funny story. So it's like December. And my crafty ways. It's like, it's like. Oh, my God. I, I forgot what date it was, right? I, it was, it was, you know. So we were all over at Jay-Z's Jay uh, listening party. And Jay-Z was uh, doing his album release party for, it's, it's the all great album. I forgot what that one was called. Well, Kim was there, Sean was there, this is before everybody blew up. So after that, we all rushed over to another party. And, and Q-Tip was in there, and he had on a mink that was only to his waist, and he had no shirt on. <laughs> and, and the VIP was on the stage, right? So I'm Thank walking you. up the stage, and at, at right on the corner is Un, and I keep telling this story every time I get, every chance I get. Un is standing in the corner, he said, Lady Luck, you rap like a man. So shout out Andre Rivera. And then I saw, <laughs> I saw Jonesy on the couch. Jonesy's over here standing on the couch. So I'm like, let me go tell Jonesy she owes me my Dreamcast. But as I walk, I'm 17-year-old I'm lady, look. So as I'm walking to Jonesy, I see Jay-Z. And I said, well, let me tell Jay-Z that he owes you our birthdays three days apart. So I'm standing by Jonesy, and then within the crowd starts swaying. This is VIP. This is that infamous night that, you know, Un and Jay had their, their thing. But somebody, I remember that party. Somebody was strong enough to pick Chubby Lady Luck out of the crowd because the crowd starts swaying. It wouldn't went down. And somebody picked Chubby Lady Luck up on the couch, and they put us right there. And that's where Jonesy was standing. I turned to Jonesy, you owe me a Dreamcast. And In the middle of all that chaos. <laughs> You just say it always. I just have my fan moments. I, I know I know this one. No, that's fine. I'm sorry. I'm glad you told me that. So, and, 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 and I'm glad y'all remember. Okay, I write it all down. And Moni, you made me cry. Like, of course, we've had our moments through hip hop. Like, every time I see you, and you guys don't understand, I get overwhelmed by people who I have admired so much, and then they know me. Like, I remember Miss Lissa. I was with Miss Lissa. I almost cried. I go to Nas, and I'm like, Nas, thank you for everything you've done for the culture. And he starts telling me about me. I almost fainted. You know, so it's been moments like that, like where I've met people who I don't even think they know who I am, and they're like, "Remember, Miss Lisa, we were not," <laughs> and then they're like, "What are you talking about? Of course, I know who you are." So it's just me. I'm still a fan. That's one thing that I love. let me tell you something. I, let me tell you I something. Love being a fan while I'm doing what I'm doing. So I just want to give. Mm -hmm. you 
let me tell you something. Thank you for that. I, I, we, we appreciate that. We, we appreciate that. And, and thank you for acknowledging us. Josie's not a good person to have on your live, though. Josie be having me at 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. Josie be having me up to 9 o'clock in the morning on live. I'll just I'll use the bathroom, and i never go back to sleep. I'm telling you. <laughs> Moni, Luck, and Miss Lista, I have something to share. So the other night, they debuted that Nas documentary about Video Music Box. Oh, I love it. Wait, the wait, wait, opening wait, wait, scene. Wait, 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 before you go, I want to shout out Ralph McDaniels for being one of the realest people that we know. He came on our show. Why he's popping, why he's hot. Why he's hot. We just had Ralph on our show on Friday. So shout out Ralph McDaniels. Make sure y'all go stream the Video Music Box documentary on Showtime. Go ahead, Ms. Jones. Love Ralph. And I had to call him personally that night and thank him because my phone starts blowing up. The opening scene, Moni, you remember, that was, they, Ralph thought it was my birthday party. That wasn't my birthday party. That was my Where I Want to Be Boy release party. That's where Nas is on stage performing with Big. Wow. Oh. They had never performed together ever, anywhere, ever, ever, ever. I didn't even invite them to the party because I didn't know them. Cause you're popping. They, everybody just started you showing up. That. You said that to me. You said that to me. You was like, I've never met Big Man. I was, I was like, but of course he would be here because this is the party to be at tonight. Moni Everything was introducing me to everybody that night that that showed up to my little he party. Was there. I love this video. I love this video. And then you was in the video with me. I love and, this video. And then you was in the video with me, Moni. I was we I was with you the whole day. The you was with me the day. whole day. I didn't just show up and be in the video. I was no, with you was, the entire day. Moni Moni would come from Long Island or were, yeah, you was you in Long Island or Queens at that point? No, I was in Long Island. You would drive Long all the way Island. from Long Island to Astoria. Yep, and sit in the house with me and Walter, yep. my boyfriend at the time. Yep, and we would eat, we would cook, we yep. would get dressed, we yep. would talk to my friends in the building, and yep. then we decide whose party we was going to on whatever night or whatever day. But that night in that video music box documentary was monumental because you know how niggas be like, I'm not getting on stage, ain't nobody paying me, or I don't fuck with that nigga, that nigga from Everybody Brooklyn, or I don't on stage that night. Every day got Everybody on stage. Everybody wanted a piece of that stage that night. They all, Wu-Tang got on. Do you I know? Remember. Lili and Coco and Taj. I remember SWC. Yep. Yep. Right, was to the, to the left. And then <laughs> Common, Common was walking through. And no, everybody was like, what is well, he doing really funny is, It's funny that you say, Luck, that you're like, you know, it's really humbling when you realize that people know who you are because you're such a fan of everybody else, right? She ain't no different. Because she kept coming in my ear like, look at this team. I didn't, I didn't invite them. I ain't never even met them. And I'm like, Jonesy, I'm like, you're hot. Like, are you just like, are you finding it tough to understand? You're hot. And you got this hot ass single out. And everybody who's anybody is coming here tonight. She's like, I'm not, I ain't never met big, met big before. And so I'm introducing her to people. I'm like, it's you. It's this. We're all here tonight. Yo, you know what's so dope? Because we didn't plan this. Like, we, we planned to bring you in. I don't know what happened. Babs is having technical difficulties. But Jonesy has always been a supporter of the Bacon, Egg, and Cheese show from day one. And I didn't know that this was, like, a good combination. Like, this is my birthday. Hey, You didn't and... know? I knew. I was like, that's why I was trying to fuck up. I knew, I knew, I I knew some stories. Up. I knew some stories. But I didn't know all of this. Like, there's just so much. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's a lot. You girls could go back, back and forth all night. Like, I would love to hear more about this story about the club. Up. Like I didn't hear all of this, and I'd be on the phone with Jonesy tonight. She was, she was a, br she was a brand, she was a brand new artist. She was hot. Everybody had heard, uh, heard her through the trenches, and people wanted to know who she was. People wanted to see who she looked. I mean, I don't mean just people, people. I mean other industry folk. Wanted and Moni co-signed me. Moni co-signed me because you know it's all about who you are represented with, and Moni is much loved. Dougie is much loved. So I had Doug, good, real big, good big people around me. Yeah, big co-sign from Doug. And, and 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 first time I heard huh? of because you know I'm only I don't know if you know, I'm the kill game. 
So shout out to my cousin Leland and all of them. And I, I went to the studio mm -hmm. and Leland had a studio on the second floor. He had a big ass poster of Miss Jones right there. And I'm like, who's this? And he started playing me her music. But you know, that's the first time that I've heard of Miss Jones. And both of you ladies have like such iconic careers from all of the videos that you dropped, everything that you've done. Like if, if you could give anybody any advice not on starting a new career, but how to transcend through so many gyms. Listen, this is what I tell the kids, right? And I, I don't want to feel <laughs> old, but I just turned 40, so I'm not going to ask you what's happening. But, like, it takes a lot to transcend through generations and still remain relevant, besides God, because God will definitely help you. But what, what advice can you give people who are just moving and, 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 and staying relevant through all of the things that they're doing, or, or like, people who, who are trying to stay relevant through all of the, the, the changes in music? Like, what advice could you give someone? Well, I'm, I'm still a little bit digitally challenged <laughs> with all, since, since I'm going to go ahead and say that, but since the viral explosion and all of these platforms <laughs> now, and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am going to be ad admitting by saying that I'm still a little bit digitally uh, challenged. Uh, but aside from that, um, just 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 bet on yourself man and you have to really have um honestly Jonesy I don't know if Jonesy would would agree I would think you would probably agree with me nowadays especially because there are so many more so many more ways to get things across and there are so many more platforms and 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 um vehicles to get to where you need to go you have to have a stronger, if you didn't have to have a strong sense of self before, you definitely need to have a strong sense Ooh, of yeah, self. Yeah, because they will tear you down in the comments. In the comments. Yeah. They will. With your they music, will. about your music, about your music. They will. I have seen this world convince a young artist, a young female artist, I've seen them attempt to convince her and make her feel bad about her own talent. I've seen it. And then I've seen them convince a young girl or no, their sisters, Kardashians, that, that they really have talent. So it's just like, I don't know. It's like, luck didn't get the joke. No, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to both of y'all. I'm reading the kind of book. Like the, 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 the Arab yeah. Moni Mo got it. Moni got it. I said, she said, she saw them tear a girl that had talent all the way down. I said, and they built bitches that didn't have talent, the Kardashians, all the way up. No, no, and no. That's topsy turvy. That's topsy turvy. But, but, but the dopest part about it is no matter how superficial the world has become, you two are still relevant. And but that's because you know what, and 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 the ingredient that Jonesy has, and the ingredient that I have that make us that way. I try to 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 sprinkle my little sisters with it at any opportunity that I can get, because basically what it is is a don't care attitude. That's what it is. You have to have some level. Of, you have to have, as well as the confidence within yourself, you have to have some level of don't care attitude. As far as I don't care what you what you what you say, you're trying too hard to convince me of what you think. Why? Right. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I have a question. I'm sorry. I'm being distracted by Steven Spielberg and the spirit of Donna Summer. Take a look. So you see, you guys are late for the party. They've been here all night. Okay. I just stand up tonight. And we have the legend, Miss Jones. We have Moni Love, Lady Luck in the building. Steven Spielberg, baby. So my question to you, I just I think this conversation is so important because it just shows how there was a different type of sisterhood in the industry before all of this, you against her and you against her. But that's another conversation. What I want no, to no, no, no. We're going to have that conversation now since you touched on it. I don't, I don't, like, to, I don't like to do and that to saying. be this like... beautiful watching you. That's why I've been quiet because to watch you... No, but listen, so I, I, need to, I need to, I need to, I need to yes, dispel them. I I'm need to dispel, again. I need to dispel the myth that back in the day it was kumbaya and roses and we all hold hands and sit in a circle and sing and we <laughs> wait, all wait, love wait, each wait, other. Wait, no, wait, no. Wait, wait. No, but there still was enough respect to say, okay, this is the thing. I feel like back in the day it was more like basketball. Okay, if you think you're the best and I think I'm the best, let's hit the court. Nowadays, okay. it's like right. telling okay. you it has okay. to be only one bitch on the court. No, okay. bring all okay. these hoes okay. to the court. Let's go play. And I feel like even now you have a respect because you just no no matter what there was a certain level of respect. And now okay. in transitioning right. into this different lane, I've watched you on reality television. How do you feel that shift in the difference in that 
a type of entertainment? And would you ever do that again? I'm going to mute you and let you go because Steven Spielberg's going in. Steven Spielberg. Me personally, I would do, I would do, because of the results that I got out of doing therapy, whether it was on camera or not, I would definitely do it again. But that's just me personally speaking because of what I got out of it. You know what I mean? I can't speak for anybody else. Wait, but, um, but talk about, talk about, you had got really uh, uh, involved when she said, no, we're going to get to this right now. There was something else like, this is a different question. It took a different no, it was, we, we did get to it. Basically, she was just saying, you know, back in the day, women, there was a bit different, different level of sisterhood amongst the women and in comparison to now. And I just wanted to make it clear to dispel. I didn't want anybody to throw a cover of all these women today all got knives up to each other's throat. And back in the day, everybody loved each other. I didn't want to, uh, to, to give off that because there was a lot of us that didn't check for each other back then either. Jonesy and my lion. Come on now. We, there, there was a lot of us that didn't check for each other back then either. And I, I just want to be real. This is why. Definitely, it was definitely on more of a level. What? This is why you my friend. Because see, I want to say, we. What's happening now? So like, what? Hey, look, Luck has been drinking. And, and like my intuition is telling me some. You guys have always been good, right? Yeah. Okay. No, us. I was going to say. I, Moni is my listen. Moni is my friend that happens to be Moni Luck. <laughs> right, Sharice from Changing Faces. Do you mind if I stroke you up? Is my friend that happens to be happens to be Sharice. Absolutely. Right. That's it. I don't fuck with. If I don't fuck with you, I don't care, Foxy. If you got thir thirteen Grammys. Wait, what? I don't even know where that came from. Stop it, because she didn't even say nothing to nobody. But I'm just saying that to make a point. Jonesy, you know what? Listen. I'll <laughs> 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 play too much. You just go to Instagram. And I see, oh, Miss Jones is live. It's like 2 a.m. I have to say a.m. You breaking up, Luck. It's been times that Jonesy done had me find liquor in my house that I didn't even hear. I be on Don't Luck. blame me. The 558 in the morning. Jonesy done do some things. So, you know, she, you got to watch out. You use the bathroom, ladies and gentlemen, in the middle of the night. <laughs> not click on Miss Jones live. Miss Jones does not see. I don't know. But I lead you to the prayer. But I lead you to the prayer line with Luck and her mom. Because I only got two minutes left. Every morning I'm up at six a.m. But I be on the phone. If I use the bathroom and I find Jones live, I just click in and all of a sudden I'm live. <laughs> no wig, scarf on, under a pillow, and it gets crazy. She has me on the phone trying to save prostitutes and invite them to the prayer line at six a.m. So shout out, Miss Jones. You know, please do not go on live, <laughs> please tell me. I love what Moni said. Thank you, Luck. I love what Moni said about it wasn't all. <laughs> it wasn't all kumbaya. There was lots of girls that was like, but what it was was everybody would, everybody would get on their records and 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 go at whoever. It wasn't no real life stuff. It was like exactly. Yeah, a, but who ate it on? Yeah. We have a song with Foxy Brown and Little Kim that no one else remixed. Anytime I want to compare verses, they gave us a verses. They wait to get on a song together. Like now with like Motorsport and the Nicki Minaj. Like you got to bring one girl at this this time, the other girl at this time. Like y'all so afraid to go to the studio and, and showcase your talent. And that's what I was saying. I wasn't saying that there wasn't a, 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 a sisterhood where competition is good. It, it makes you bring out the best in you. But now in this time, it feels like it's like one woman at a time. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Speaking of speaking of that, I, but I, wait, they wasn't there. They was beefing. If we talk about the same record that Rashad no, from Tumblr Dice did, they still got, but they still did the song. Is what I'm saying. When they got yeah. on, when they got on, not tonight. When they got on, not tonight. No, they got oh, on no. one of those remakes. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, like, oh no, I, I was talking about that. another. Two. I was, I was talking, and then there's three because they did another one on top of enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but more and more. Oh wait, right, now they Foxy wasn't, wasn't on not tonight. Foxy wasn't on not tonight. She right. It's the it was, total it remake. The, uh, uh, the, yeah, the, that's the my shit though. Remake. I know. But let, let, let me ask you, ladies. Like, will you will you tell us who anybody that hated on you or or, or, or better yet, better yet, anybody who you thought was going to be a bitch or, or or an upset person, but when you met them, they showed nothing but love. 
Now you can answer either or. Your biggest hater? I was scared of rage. I was scared of rage. Oh, no. Rage is sweetheart. Why? Because she was yeah, rubbing some of her ass off. She's the biggest. She's the biggest sweetheart ever. Oh, shout ever. Out. Shout like, out, Rage. Oh, my God. But no, you have to understand. Like, you know, she, I was scared. Yeah. Like, she's like, oh, my God. I and was she's like, West Ooh. Coast. And she was down with that whole West Coast side. And they move different. They, they move, move different, different than us. And, and, you know what I'm saying? We're very ladylike. We're Let very ladylike. My bra strap. Like, <laughs> I hit you with this raw rap. Woo! I was like, Oh, give me a pan print, child. Yeah, I, yeah, like, yeah. I, I am the roughest, it. toughest, toughest. I was like, okay. <laughs> I, I, I shout, out, shout out Lady Rage. I did a whole mixtape with her and Babs Bunny. We, we, we was fam. And you yeah. well. I was and you, um, I was definitely Speaking of Babs Bunny, her, because like, she's been oh, missing this whole episode. Everyone, in the midst of all of this iconic of deliverance and interaction, make sure you are supporting Queen of the Ring. After the show, head to YouTube, support Queen of the Ring, the first battle rap league featuring females in the game, often imitated, no, never duplicated, okay? We're gonna give you your flowers, bad because we love you. We love you. And shout out to Moni Love, shout out to, I knew it was gonna be, I'm telling you, I'm literally sitting here shutting the fuck up because to what I already knew, I already knew Miss Jones and, and Moni Love was gonna be different. And then Lady Luck, I'm here just posing. Yo, I, I'm I don't need posing. I look, like, look you know what? Yo, shit. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I, I never went in the casino. They raped me of all of my money. I mean, a leg city, I, they'll never see me again. But when I say Lady Luck, what Lady Luck means to me as Chanel, my name is Chanel. I was lucky to meet you guys. I was lucky to grow up and hear you guys on the radio <laughs> and see how you formulated your career. Like, I, I used to be a DJ, so I, I was scratching records and stuff, and I was scratching you ladies' records. So, like, to be talking to you, like, I'm having a fan moment. Like, you know, I still got to be a hardcore, you know, my bitches is watching. Hey, bitch. No, but they know, but they know. And I'm proud to, I'm proud like, like, look, that to like, be. Like, like, I swear to God, I love luck. She's so funny. I love her. Like, I love her. Lady Bitch Jonesy, do you have it, like, Lady Luck, you know what I mean? That nigga, I'm standing here, but little Chanel is going crazy inside of me. Pause. Like, little Chanel's like, oh my God! So I just want to give y'all your <laughs> Like, Lady Luck is cool, though. You know what I'm talking about? You are so talented. Like, I love being your friend. It's an oh. honor that you care anything about me, because I watch yeah. you and all them videos with all them personalities yeah. and characters that you do. Yo, yo, yo. And I'm like, yo, yo. I know the time Last that night. it takes to pull that type of shit off. Listen, I know the level of talent you have to have. Uh, and All right, oh my confession. God. Jonesy obviously got hip to you before I did, but I'll make my little confession now. I was on my shift at Hot 97 and played 54321. <laughs> and then, and, and, okay, and then ran around the whole studio asking, "Yo, who the fuck is that girl on that phone?" Oh, man, thank you so much. Who is who is that girl on that phone? Thank you. I like, love you, Moni. Because, yeah. Can I tell because, you? Have... No, because I need you to understand. I'm lyric driven. Jonesy will tell you I am lyric driven. I am one of these people that I I've I've had you know like I've had songs and sit there and dissect them and yeah. become fans of people specifically because of dissecting their verses. Oh, I'm big on that. So when I played that song, um, EPMD oh. joint, with you on it, and, and they put you on at the end, too. I was like, who is Why this Why you guys trying to make me cry tonight? Like, this is crazy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just telling you. That's what it, that's what it, my introduction to you, that's what it was, and that's, you know, and that's when I became a fan, and that's why whenever you see me, it's always excitement and love, because I still, nah, whenever it, I see your face, I hear it. it. It's beyond that for me. Like, it's beyond the flowers, and we're talking about careers. Like, you're like the first rapper who, who's called me and said, how's your mental health? <laughs> like, nobody, nobody called That's me. That's Moni. You, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm, I'm not going to keep you late. So Jonesy will tell you. Jo That's Jones Moni. You. I, I'm She'll be like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, nothing. She goes, don't tell me that. I'm like, first of all, I, I, you don't have the type of time that I need. And she's like, what are you talking about? Yes, I do. I knew something was wrong. She cares. She actually I'll be cares. Right, I'll be right on the post. Right on the post. So, so, so before we get go, down, before we get out of get here, the fuck, get before, down. Before we get out of here, I just want to thank you, ladies, for everything that you've contributed to the culture, whether you know it or not. Like me, I'm a. I, I read a lot of stuff that nobody cares about. Like I study a lot of stuff, like the history of gold, the history of iron. Like I'm that person who's watching three-hour documentaries and the person is speaking <laughs> and actually, like I'm, I'm, I'm that one, you know. And um, all of us with the lost tribe of Songhai, you know, you can look it up.
Oh, she's frozen. back. S-O-N-G-H-A-I. Okay, here you go. Yeah, yeah. No, no, S O N G H A I. I I I I tell you guys to all watch that. But we're the Lost Tribe of Song High. We came here. We're separated from our culture and everything. So for us to create a new history, for us to create, you know, a past that we've had. And you guys are a part of it. So I just want to thank you for all that you've contributed to the to the culture. And you keep going. That's the dopest part about it. Because one thing that I appreciate is there's a lot of female rappers who've done better than me. And, and I, I, I talk to them on the phone, but nobody talks about them still. And there's a lot of female R&B singers. And there's a lot of people who may have done better than us. But nobody talks more about them these days. And that, that in itself is a blessing. And, and another blessing is to take something out of nothing, make something out of nothing. So, you know, for you mm. to have a talent, every time, you, 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 every time, yeah, every you know time. What I mean? So, so there's a lot for us to be thankful for, but I, I'm appreciative to you ladies. Thank you for joining the big AT show. Jonesy, we talk every day. Jonesy, you done got me in trouble at night. I don't even fuck with you, Jonesy. I don't even know why me and you on the phone. No, 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 Moni. <laughs> Jonesy, got I got everybody, trouble. look, I got everybody on this, all these boxes I've gotten in trouble. Jonesy, Jonesy that got me broken up with. Jonesy that got me blocked. I mean, I'm telling you, I get on phone with Jonesy, I get drunk, and then I don't remember what happened the night before. So shout out to Jonesy. I love you ladies so much. But listen, she gets us all in trouble, but she has a heart of gold. Of gold. 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 Thank you for realizing so, that. Both of you. Miss Jones, you deserve your flowers. I tell you each and every time how special you are to my journey and Moni Love too just to be a bold female in this industry still pursuing and still just like understanding the the understanding the meaning of life because the industry has nothing to do with life that might be like your like your money or your bag or whatever but to understand the meaning of life the same thing for Miss Jones because Miss Jones like you took a break and you didn't have to no I, I did looking for I you. did these kids broke me. No, but no, <laughs> but you didn't. Kids. Hey, hey, but we didn't know. We didn't know. <laughs> okay. okay. We, we didn't know. And and I, I remember looking for you. And then I was just like, you know, and then for you to like un understand the meaning of life. And I remember one of the episodes when you said that you were apologizing to people. Just understanding that there was a point where before there was clout chasing or clickbait or what, whatever it was, you were like a female uh, Howard Stern. So you were saying and, and doing the things that people were afraid to do. And I know what that feels like. And you didn't give a fuck. So I'm just saying, girl, yes, we love you. The girls love you. And if they don't, bitch, tell me who. I got you. And same thing for Moni and Lady Luck. You already know. Like, I just feel like I'm just, I don't, I'm just happy to be a fly on the wall. That's why I don't mind muting my, my, my mic. But before we go, I just want to say thank you to both of you. Babs, Bunny, we love you, girl. If we can Babs. have all, everyone on the platform, because I'm just like, I don't know where Babs went, but we don't want you to feel like we forgot you. We did not forget you, girl. Never you forget miss. Babs. Never Babs, forget Babs. Thank you, Babs. Yo, yo, yo. yo. And, tell me, and, and before we get out of here, right, so there's a, there's a store over here. It's like a Jamaican store where I go to and I get all my herbs and all of that, and that's why I look the way I look. And last night I went in there, and I, I mind you, I go in there like a ninja. You don't know who I am. I go in there with the mask on, and I went to get my little, uh, my little uh, round the world shots, and there's Monifa sitting there. I said, Monifa, I love you. Look, I love you. So shout out to Monifa. You know, shout out. To I love people. Monifa. Yeah, shout out to the people who I just run. Are into. you gonna play Where I Wanna Be, girl? Well, I mean, I mean, why wouldn't I? We can but play that on the on the come on the out, way out because on it makes the most sense. And what we're gonna do is a bacon, egg, and cheese exclusive because this generation is so dumb. You watch a video with Kanye West and and uh, the guy from the Beatles, and you thought that he was a new artist. And what we're gonna do? Guy from yeah, the Beatles. So what we're I'm gonna done. do? We're gonna make make sure that this Yo. new generation do your Googles. Amen. For the people who said the wrong word, so hit hit mute, Miss Lisa. Important. So hit mute, Miss Lissa, on our way out of here. Big huh? Egg and Cheese Show. Shout out to Dave. All right, we Shout out. Shout out to Moni Love, the legend. Shout out to Miss Jones, the legend, who will get you in trouble at 5 a.m. So do not log on. Let's go.